While you can build outposts almost anywhere in Starfield, you might not like that loader life living on an empty planet. So today we're gonna go through every apartment and home that you can purchase in Starfield or get for free. We'll cover everything from a shipping crate to a penthouse apartment in New Atlantis. Let's go. Let me know which is your favorite home in the comments down below. These first couple will cover off just because I feel like they are important just to mention. But the first one is the lodge room. This is given to you for free at the start of the story after you've completed like that first initial mission. You don't really need to spend much time here. It's just a room at the back of the lodge, which has a bed and some storage options. The lodge is generally good because it is a fast travel point. So you can always get back here, which is one of the issues with a lot of these homes. And even though you can't decorate the lodge like room that you have, you do have like workbenches and stuff downstairs and sort of everything you need there. So just wanted to call it out as it kind of is a home. It's the same as well for the parents home, which you get for the kids stuff trait. Now, when you do have that, you can go visit your parents and you'd have a room there. Isn't really much to say here either. It's just like your parents home. You have a room that you can use to like sleep in. Your old like high school backpack is here as well. There's a bed and you can't customize anything here, but it is a place that you can return to for some storage or sleeping and that sort of thing if you wanted to as well. But now some actual apartments. The first is on New Atlantis as well, and that is the Well Apartment. In order to get this, you need to become a UC citizen, which is about like a part way through the Vanguard storyline. You'll get a point where they'll say, hey, you can now own property. Then you need to pop over to the Aphelon Realty place, which is sort of in the middle of New Atlantis, like in the upper section. You can go here and you'll be able to buy the Well Apartment for 30,000 credits. Then if you head down to the Well, you'll be able to go into this tiny little apartment. It's pretty small and dingy, like it is, does have a little upstairs area area as well. I actually kind of like like the ambient feeling of it. There's a really nice like hustle and bustle sounds that sort of indicate, you know, that you are in the well when you're in the apartment, which I actually like because a lot of them don't have sort of unique sounds like the well does. And, you know, if you're just looking for a first place to go, it's not too bad of an option, especially if you're going to spend a lot of time on New Atlantis and you can obviously decorate it as well. The next is one of the best apartments in the game, in my opinion, and that is the penthouse in New Atlantis. So this is in the Mercury Tower. It's right at the very top. In order to get this, you need to complete the Vanguard storyline. So right at the very end, you'll get this apartment for free. It doesn't cost you anything. You just got to actually complete that quest line. Now, this is probably the best apartment in the game. It has some really amazing views and it has two balconies that you can sort of look out from different points of view from New Atlantis. It's got plenty of space for decorating, like a nice big kitchen and nice big bedrooms to like play around with and put some stuff in there if you want to do some decorating, that sort of a thing. It's really nice. I actually quite like this apartment. The downside is it's kind of annoying to get to because you can't really fast travel there. You have to like go to the residential district and then run all the way up to the tower and then like load up to the top of the tower. But it is a really nice apartment. And you can actually just like, if you don't want to go through the loading screens, once you're up there, you can just literally like jump off and land back in New Atlantis, which I've done a couple of times because you got the boost pack, right? You won't take damage. It's a fun little thing to do. And it is a really nice apartment to spend time in to actually build out if you wanted to do that with this sort of an option. The next we'll move to Aquila City. There's a couple in Aquila City. The first one is the Stretch Apartment. Now this costs 45,000 credits. Now both of the Aquila City apartments come from the same realtor, which is found sort of behind the rock. And if you go here, he's got like a red sort of jacket on. You talk to him and he'll give you the option to buy either of the two apartments. Now you want to ask him to tell you about the Midtown home, which is actually the stretch apartment that you find in the stretch area of Aquila City. This will cost you 45,000 credits. And I actually really like this apartment. It's got a nicer sort of like vibes to some of the more like sci-fi apartments. This is a bit more classical with like the red bricks and sort of the wooden feel to it. I really like the dividers in this apartment as well. And it's got a nice sort of kitchen space as well as a nice like entertaining area. The bedroom is absolutely tiny though, which is probably the only downside to this area, but it's easily accessible in Aquila City as well, which is nice as it's just to the left when you sort of enter the city and head that way to find the apartment the stretch area. The next one is the Core Manor, which is actually the like house directly behind where the realtor stands. So this apartment is like actually kind of worse than the stretch apartment in my opinion. So it's sort of a like a, a more like upmarket version here. It's a little bit more expensive. It'll cost you 78,000 credits compared to the 45 that you get for the stretch. It's bigger in that you've got a much bigger entertaining area, much bigger kitchen. And then there's this like hallway that leads to the bathroom. And then to the right there is the bedroom. And the bedroom is like very small. It's just like a thin like corridor as well. For 78,000 credits here, you're really just paying for the convenience of this being in like the center of Aquila City, right? Like right next to the rock. It's actually not that 
good. Like I like the the feel of the wooden floors and everything. And you can obviously decorate this apartment and add as what like whatever you want to add in here as well. And it is just really that convenience. It doesn't feel as nice as the stretch apartment for me. Like it's a decent sized entertainment area, but the small hallway and small room is a bit disappointing. I would have liked that to be a bit larger, especially the bedroom space. You can barely even fit a bed in there. So it's a bit a little odd in that regard, but it is a nice enough apartment. It's definitely nicer than the next apartment we're going to talk about, which is the Sleep Crate. So we're going to head to Neon now for the couple of Neon apartments. The first one being the Sleep Crate. Now this you get from the ebb side area of Neon. You go to the Sleep Crate kiosk and talk to the owner there and they will sell you the Sleep Crate room or I guess it's a room. It is just a crate really. And so once you've bought it, you'll have to go to the other side of Epson where it actually is located. And then once you're there, you've got this tiny little sleep crate for you to sleep in. Now this, you can decorate this tiny little space if you want to, but I mean, you can't really decorate much in there because any of sort of furniture stuff won't fit. So it's really just like wall decorations or anything like that. You can't fit any of the crafting stations or anything in here. It is a tiny, tiny little room, but I guess, you know, it is pretty cheap, right? It only costs you 6,500 credits. So at least it's not expensive and it's not going to like set, you know, the bank back, but you can't really do much here. It's really just if you want somewhere that you can go to to sleep or something in Ebside and maybe you role playing is like you know, some sort of character, maybe it fits with that, but there's definitely better options. And, you know, I would be looking at the alternatives than, than actually using this apartment. But the other alternative on Neon is probably not the one that I would consider. So this is the most expensive apartment out of everything. It costs you 235,000 credits and you get this by going to the Astral Lounge and talking to the bartender Boone here. And then you empty your bank account to buy this apartment. Now, the downside to this apartment is it's actually kind of small. Like, I don't think it's bigger than either the stretch or the core manor apartment maybe even the well no it is bigger than the well apartment actually but it's it's pretty small right you've got this upper area with the kitchen and the bathroom and then a lower area that's sort of a entertainment slash bedroom in one really because it's the only space you've got so in terms of that you don't really have an area say if you wanted to put any workbenches or anything like that unless you're going to put them in that area the real downside to this is if you go outside You've got a balcony. One, you can't decorate the balcony like you can for the new Atlantis penthouse. And two, you have a really poor view. Like you're just sort of looking out onto like the top of neon. It's not as exciting as that really open views you get from the penthouse in New Atlantis. The other downside to this apartment is that it is so expensive being the 235K credits. And considering what you get here in terms of not only in the size, but in terms of your views and everything, it's definitely not the one that I would be really in investing in unless you you know, you've got a complete abundance of credits and you really want that neon lifestyle to live up here. Maybe you would go that route, but it's not what I would because you've got a limited amount of space. It's so expensive. The views aren't great, but you know, that's up to you. Now, there's one more option here, which is the dream home. Now, the dream home comes from having the dream home trait. Now, this will cost you like 500 credits just to enter it if you haven't paid it off, like paying your interest. But if you do want to pay it off, it costs you 125K. In the Olympus system on the Niso planet, this is like a two-story house that you've got here with multiple big entertaining areas that you could either put your workbenches or any sort of decorations. It's got a couple of bathrooms, a couple of bedrooms, and it does have a nice outdoor area that's actually already furnished. You can't edit the outdoor area, like you can't decorate it, which is disappointing, but it is already furnished in a way as well as you've got stuff out there. So you've got those vibes. It is kind of like a half home, I guess, between like say an outpost and like living in the city, which is kind of nice if you like that sort of vibe of living out in the middle of nowhere, you've got this option as well, but it does have plenty of decorating space compared to the other areas. It's probably the biggest overall and it's definitely cheaper than the sky suit. So it's got that value, but it's nowhere near close to any of, you know, the cities or anything like that as it's in its own system, but it is a nice place that you can go and grab. In terms of like the best, I personally would say like the penthouse because one, it's free, so it doesn't cost you anything, but you just have to complete the Vanguard quest line. If you're not joining the Vanguard, like say, you know, role-playing purposes or whatever, I do really like the stretch apartment in Aquila City. That's got some really nice vibes, but you know, wouldn't be buying the sky suit apartment in neon for sure. But you've got plenty of options there. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching this video till the end. Thank you to our members for supporting the channel. My name is Norza and I hope you have a great day.